hello Pisces welcome to my channel how are you all doing um, we're going to be doing a Pisces love messages for the month of January okay January 2021 for Pisces Pisces I'm going to get you all a prayer pour you all a prayer to see what prayer do we have for Pisces for the month of January 2021 All right. Peace, the greatest gift. I am praying your mind is recalibrated with the truth of and joy of Jesus. His way for your life is peace. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Hold on, y'all. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. If you don't have peace, it isn't because someone took it from you. You gave it away. You cannot always control what you what happens to you, but you can control what happens in you. John Maxwell. Okay, so remember to be in perfect peace. All right, be peaceful, you all, for the month of January. All right, Pisces. Let's get um, a message for you all. Overall message for Pisces for the month of January, two thousand twenty-one. Happy New Year, you all. May your whole year be filled with love, joy, compassion, peace, and understanding. Okay, and spiritual growth here. What advice do we have for Pisces? Nope, not advice. The message, overall message for Pisces for the month of January. Pisces, let's see. Okay, two came out for you all. First, you got wings, Pisces, okay? So this is the number eight. You never needed those wings to fly. So let's see what message is this. What is this saying for you, Pisces? It seems like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle of self-doubt and self-criticism. When you tell yourself you can't do whatever you set your mind to, that's what we refer to as negative self-talk, and it's extremely toxic. Just as we accept others to treat us with kindness, we also need to treat ourselves with kindness. A bird can't fly away if you never let it out of its cage, okay? And you all got number 10, which is forgive, okay? So Pisces, your message, you've been holding a grudge against somebody in your life. Maybe it's a loved one or maybe it's yourself. This isn't a card telling you that you must learn to practice forgiveness. No, forgive them on your own terms if and when you feel ready to do so. This is simply a nudge for you to consider whether that time is the present. Don't let forgiveness feel like an obligation, but like a shiny red hope that gets you through your sleepless late nights okay so message for you all there is to forgive all right working on forgiveness and keeping perfect perfect peace with you all's prayer all right now let's see what message do we have for over overall energy for pisces for the month of january Overall energy for Pisces for the month of January in love. Now you can turn TV off, son. Pisces for the month of January in love. Overall energy. Overall energy for Pisces for the month of January 2021. Uh-oh, y'all. Okay, 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 okay. All right, you all got collaboration here. 
All right, so you all are wanting to collaborate with someone, uh, maybe a collaboration um, between you and someone. Something about you in collaboration. You're needing to accept any support or assistance that is offered to you as working in a partnership or as a team will be very beneficial. Consider joining a group here. So maybe some of you all are wanting to join a group. Um, maybe this is talking about work, starting a new job, starting a new relationship here, okay? Or maybe some type of collaboration is affecting you all and you're needing to forgive here and use your wings to fly here. All right, let's see. Situation, action, outcome for Pisces. In the month of January, in love. Pisces. Beautiful Pisces for the month of January. In love. in the month of January in love situation for Pisces alright got the ten of swords here painful endings rock bottom breakdown here okay let's see so you have been going through some things could be mentally or physically uh, Pisces that um, causing some painful endings here um, let's get situations. See. Got temperance here. Okay, this situation will be causing you to have patience. All right, um, do some healing. You all could be dealing with a Sagittarius with this temperance here. Um, got the Ace of Pentacles. You all are working towards abundance, maybe manifesting uh, new financial opportunities for you all. Okay. For some of you all, with this Ten of Swords, it could have been an ending um, on a job here, or when it comes to your pentacles, or maybe an ending, okay? Something has come to an end, and you're needing to have patience, okay? Continue to push forward and work on manifesting this growth that you're wanting here, all right? You got the Emperor here, could be dealing with a... Um, a Taurus here, my Aries or Taurus. This is okay. So, but no, the Emperor is the Aries here. Okay, so you all are with this authority. Could be dealing with a father figure, someone who's in leadership, or really needing to stand real firm in what you're wanting to create. Okay, when it comes to you being patient, when it comes to your healing here, that is needing to take place. All right, you got the six of wands. You all are um, wanting success. Would be receiving some good news in regards to your job or your love life here. You got the ace of swords. So you will be receiving some breakthrough. Maybe gathering up um, some truth, okay? Wanting clarity here. You need to watch your words here with that ace of swords okay you got the seven of cups you all are working towards coming out of confusions here you all could be a bit confused have a lot of choices that you all are needing to make here okay for some of you all it could be a lot of opportunities when it comes to jobs all right or relationships okay you got the hermit could be dealing with a virgo with the hermit here but you all are going to be doing some soul searching maybe wanting some solitude um, this could be you or your person here, all right, or whoever you're collaborating with here, okay? What actions will this Pisces be taking in the month of January? Okay, you got the star. You could be dealing with Aquarius, but being more hopeful, having uh, faith, being optimistic here, all right? Got the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus here, but... Um, really standing firm, um, following certain traditions here with this this higher thing here okay you got the judgment so really following your inner calling here okay going through an awakening all right um 
And you also got the sun here. This is nice. So the actions that you all will be taking <coughs> will be moving towards being hopeful in regards to the situation here. Um, you could be going into a new relationship in the month of January here. All right, going through an awakening or this person that you are in a relationship with, you all could be, you know, maybe signifying the connection here, okay? Um, the relationship that you all are in or would be going into could be going through an awakening here, all right? You will be seeing some happy times, some achievements, okay? Thinking more positive, you or your person, all right? This will be a positive time, yeah, with this four of wands. So I do see, uh, Pisces, you all will be either starting a new relationship here or just uh, solidifying a relationship here in the month of January. All right. Let's see potential outcome. All right. You got the nine of swords here. Someone is feeling maybe stressed, feeling very overwhelmed. All right, it could be in this connection here. Got the Ace of Wands, so this is new passion, new spark, new uh, business, new jobs here. All right, maybe um, got the four, Five of Wands, conflict, and some struggle here. So it could be some struggle between you and um, your person, or maybe someone at work here. Okay, that's causing you to feel stressed here. All right. Or some things that's going on with you, Pisces, in the month of January that is really causing conflict, making you feel overwhelmed here. Um, you got the three of wands here. So you're wanting to experience life. You all are wanting to still be wanting to travel towards someone or wanting someone to travel towards you. Or this could be spiritually someone is, is traveling here. Um, could be a way that is causing a lot of conflict, causing stress here. You got the Queen of Pentacles. So when it comes to your finances, you all are working towards being more grounded. Okay, being a bit more um, dependable. You could be dealing with um, someone who is financially stable. Got this Queen of Pentacles here. All right, got the Hangman. So somebody is going to want to pause here. To take a new perspective or have a new perspective, become a bit more enlightened when it comes to this collaboration. All right, just three of wands, okay? Um, all right. All right, let's see. Let's get some messages. Uh-oh. Pisces. Pisces for the month of January and love. What messages do we have for a beautiful Pisces? All right, you got white flag. So someone wants another chance to make things right. Okay, the desire to do things better here. Okay, that is you or your person or the both of you all. You have a track. You all are needing to set your attentions high and know you deserve and receive. Deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness. Got spiritual lessons, so I mean spiritual mission. Um, some of you all are going to be going through some things um, spiritually in the month of January. All right, and this is going to... Um, the connection that you're in or will be in is going to support energy healing here, okay? You have separation, so if some of you all are separating from someone or feel some type of separation in the month of January, you need to surrender into your heart and divine source where there is no separ separation. The highest levels of love always serve and is without conditions here. Okay, Pisces, you got new patterns. Do things differently in order to bring in health and vitality. You have guilt here. So someone's connection is feeling a lot of guilt, shame, and deep remorse over past actions and words. All right. And this is what is hindering this connection. All right. Let's get some messages of love from where you are, Pisces. 
for the month of January. Matt, I can't hear the TV. You got release here, so it's some things that you all are needing to release and let go. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go here. We have obsession. Okay, so someone's connection is gripped by us obsessive thoughts here. All right. We have um, this connection is passionate but not enduring enough. Okay. So you want to strengthen here. Maybe have different conversations here. Okay. Uh, maybe your person is needing to maybe voice more how they are feeling towards you. You got marriage here. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Okay. True love. This is your true love, Pisces. All right. Pisces, you got put away the computer, working less and having more fun. Will help strengthen this relationship. Okay. You all got obstacles. There are some unhealed wounds, obstacles. Okay. <sighs> oh, that's blocking the forward movement here. All right. You got protected, Pisces. So know that you are safe and divinely guided. Clear your energy field to give yourself, focus on yourself before acting here. Trust, it is safe to trust in the situation and use your intuition, Pisces, okay? Or this um, could be saying that you all will um, be having more, um, and let me see. Come here, advanced intuition. Okay, so yeah, some of your intuition could really be um, heightened in the month of January, and you need to really follow your intuition and listen to your intuition, okay? Because you already know the answer you seek, all right? For some of you all, you already know the answer you seek, and it's already there, and that's what you are needing to do, okay? All right, let's get advice for you all for the month of January, Pisces. Advice for Pisces. All right, Pisces, you have clear the fog here, okay? So we're gonna, oops, we're gonna, oops. <laughs> Let's not get that straight. All right, we're gonna read that and see what you all's advice is. Pisces, number 13, which is number four, which is about balance. Okay, so clear the fog. So your spiritual advice, uh, Pisces. I went to number four. <laughs> okay, clear the fogs. Clear the fog. Life looks a bit foggy now, and your ego is distorting the truth. It's time to summon the pure heart of your spirit so that you're correctly informed. The first step to clearing away the confusion is to take nothing personally. Stay aware and learn as much as you can. Listen closely, observe the details, and be on guard for a tendency to interpret things from an overly emotional point of view, especially when it comes to the behavior of others. Next, ask your spirit to be clear on what you want from those around you and say so with love. Express your clear heart without being overly emotional or vague. Allow your spirit to speak for you, breathing calmly as you do and expecting the best. The fault will lift and the pollution of the present will clear, okay? So whatever is going on, Pisces, you know, um, it's going to clear. The fog is going to lift and to go know that you are safe and divinely guided here, okay? Work on the forgiveness here, all right? Um, everything's going to be okay, okay, Pisces? So I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all love, light, and positivity. I love you all, and I'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all for joining me, okay? Bye.